watching WMFD, North Central Ohio's news leader in high definition. Over the air and on the web, News Watch Daybreak at 6 starts now. Good morning. Thank you for joining us for News Watch Daybreak. While the Ebola virus and Ashland Richland County areas preparedness to handle any cases of it were the subject of a meeting yesterday at the Ashland County City Health Department. The Ebola Coalition made up of health and emergency response professionals met up to review and finalize their action plan should someone return to this area from West Africa with symptoms of the potentially deadly virus. There is uh, actually uh, quite a real concern because we do have a number of missionary uh, doctors and nurses and other medical professionals that do um, go to that area and return. And we will also have military um, uh, medical professionals that will uh, return from that area. So it's a real uh, likelihood. Uh, we're ahead of some other counties uh, in the region uh, in terms of our preparedness. So uh, I would say we're pretty well prepared. The meeting included a demonstration of the protective clothing and equipment worn by doctors and nurses who treat Ebola patients. Well, it's very important that each hospital, uh, each hospital has their access to their own specific uh, personal protective equipment. So they have their own procedure on how to, to put it on and to take it off. And so today we're going to be uh, watching uh, the procedure that Samaritan Regional Health System uses uh, to uh, put on and take off their personal protective equipment. The guest speaker was Warren Neal, an associate professor of nursing at Mount Vernon Nazarene University. He showed a news report from the BBC about a woman in Liberia being removed from her home, unconscious and abandoned by her family, to be taken to an Ebola treatment center. 